we identify three graves and in this, these three graves we were able to assume about seven bodies. Uh, one, one of the graves actually had four bodies while the other two had uh, one, one each which make them a total of seven bodies which we exhumed today. Uh, is an exercise which will go on and uh, as per what I know we have uh, about 50 graves which are, were identified uh, which we, need, we are going to work on until we finish up. Yes. Mm. The, the soil is loose so it helps us very very well uh, much to, to identify the graves and uh, as you've been here today with us you've noticed that uh, any place where we suspect by using those criteria we've been actually finding uh, bodies inside. Yeah. Mm. The GPS? Is it GPS is working because GPS is uh, one of the very critical uh, tool which you use in a uh, locating the place and mapping so that now we can be able to say that this na this person was actually found is this particular grave based on the gps yeah and then there was an issue with the government chemists who had uh, not had uh, some reagents but uh, they've gotten uh, reagents and we expect that uh, within the next uh, th one month they'll be able to have uh, analyze the bodies which are there with them so that as, as we exhume we'll be also able to release the bodies which are there so that now we can create also space. Uh, one thing that we are also urging uh, members of the public is if you know that uh, you suspect that uh, there's a missing person at Shakahola who you've never seen, uh, we, 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 we urge you to to, to, to have uh, your DNA taken so that now we can be able to match because one of the things that uh, we've been having uh, as a challenge is uh, people not coming up to, to to get their DNA so that now we can uh, cross-check with the bodies uh, which we have at the, at the mortuary. Yeah. Mm.